Let's kick her on! Yeah. Real fight starts now. rely on is fleeting. They will all be turned to dust. Anyone tries to hurt my friends. It's gonna be! This is the true power. Autonomous! Ultra! Instinct! Oh, it's been a while, and I thoroughly think that you guys are genuinely going to enjoy what I'm about to say on today's video. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 3 Mods. As you can see, we are going to be using a very specific version of Goku Black here, only because I have a few announcements to make, beginning with the debut of the return of the Goku Black fan manga series, which I'm going to be debuting on the channel next month on October, and of course, I'm battling against Gohan, and the reason why I'm showcasing this first is because yes, for the longest time so many people have wanted to see Gohan battle against Goku Black and down goes Gohan. So that's not going to be too far off as to what is to be expected from the actual manga. So now we have Ultra Ego Vegeta. So here's the thing. So you might be asking yourselves, well, how in the world does Goku Black even come back to begin with? Well, to give you guys a few previews as to what is to be expected coming in October as of course you guys can see, Goku Black is in fact brought back courtesy of Android 17's wish that was made during the event of the Tournament of Power. Hour, and because Android 17 wasn't necessarily specific with his wish in bringing back the universes that the Omni King had destroyed, we end up by accident having the entire future Trunks universe and timeline be restored. And because of that, since the Omni King had gone as far as to destroy Goku Black, Goku Black as an end result ends up coming back and he ends up encountering Gowasu first by going back to his home, which of course is universe 10, which one of the many things I think you guys are thoroughly going to enjoy as a I'm trying my best to beat down Ultra Ego Vegeta, which of course is going to happen in the manga, is this. Now, make no mistake about it, Goku Black's first opponent coming back will of course be the God of Destruction, Ramush, and to me, when I put this together, it only made sense to have someone like the God of Destruction of Universe 10 be the one to kind of confront Goku Black, given the fact that Zamasu slash Goku Black originally came from Universe 10 to begin with, so this encounter between the two is essentially going to lead to a very intense and bloody battle between the two, which if you don't want to wait to find out what's going to happen, then you guys can simply become a member of our Patreon to where on there, you guys will be able to gain access to exclusive first looks to my fan mangas and so many other exclusive things, including Goku Black's new transformation, which he will get in this story. And the way you guys will be able to be the first to see this is of course on my Patreon, patreon.com slash Gaming. Link will be located down in the description box below and in the pinned comment section. So again, if you want to be able to see everything before everyone else and get exclusive soundtracks, PNGs, and art, then Patreon.com is where you guys need to be. So it's kind of interesting that I was just able to fight off against Omen Goku and basically one-shot him because we are going to see Goku versus Goku Black again, but it is going to be a little different because yes, Goku this time around will be using the instinctive ability to use Omen and MUI at the same time, whereas unlike what we've seen with Goku Black being unable to develop in the anime and in the manga, this time around Goku Black, he's actually going to have several different forms, not just one, and he's going to be using that against Ultra Instant Goku, Ultra Eagle Vegeta, and other characters that I'm going to kind of reframe from mentioning here. Now, in case you're wondering if Beerus is going to be involved, which the answer to that is going to be no. Beerus is not going to be involved within the matter pertaining Goku Black, but instead, Beerus is simply going to do what Beerus does best and just kick back and relax. However, since we have Ultra Instinct Goku on the field, I thought I might as well also let you guys know on another story coming later on this October, and that story, however, is going to to be the story involving Moro's ultimate victory against our heroes, where we are going to be getting the 
opportunity in seeing what things would have ultimately had been like if Moro actually won against our heroes and it's not going to go into the direction in which you might assume it might be going in but instead Moro is going to battle against our heroes one by one Goku, Vegeta, hell even Angel Maris which is ultimately going to lead into Moro stabilizing and mastering Ultra Instinct to I guess you could say the best of his capabilities before advancing which yes that includes getting fights such as Angel Maris versus Angel Moro and many other things which interestingly enough as I'm fighting Granola we are going to see something involving him and Moro which is ultimately going to lead to Moro finding him and well of course fighting him once he completes his duties on earth with what he has going on involving Goku, Vegeta, Gohan, the androids, Maris and well yes even Beerus as well so both of these stories mind you are going to be very different by comparison as of course I am wrecking Granola which in case you're kind of curious about the timeline placement in which Moro does in fact end up encountering Granola and well to kind of let you guys know and give you a little bit of a preview without giving too much away Moro actually learns that someone in the universe had gone about by using Dragon Balls the Cerulean Dragon Balls to make themselves the strongest and this kind of goes on to pique Moro's interest and once of course he comes across Granola well you guys are going to see how that unfolds which again I do encourage you guys to do three things number one subscribe to the channel if of course you're new or get your friends to subscribe because the more subscribers we end up getting and the more support we end up garnering the better we can actually end up producing more stories for you number two give this video a big fat thumbs up right now if you guys are excited and just essentially cannot wait for all of these stories and number three make sure you guys have all notifications on the channel turned on because I'm telling you all right now you don't want to miss out on this now just in case you're also kind of curious just to kind of answer some questions that you might be having if you're kind of wondering in case Goku Black is going to be fighting Granola no this is actually something different which I wasn't even expecting to begin with which I am going to go about by just beating Granola down during the course of this battle considering the fact that I don't have Moro to be using right now so I might as well just kind of substitute that for Goku Black no we're not going to see Granola versus Goku Black in this story but I guess you could say never say never for maybe a one-off special in the future so that really is going to depend on you guys if you guys want to see it let me know if you guys don't want to see it then again let me know down below but these stories and so much more are going to be making their way on the channel starting next month and I'm also going to be introducing another story where I'm kind of gonna go into that a bit more after this battle because it looks as though Vegeta's evolved Ultra Ego form and Granola right now really aren't standing that big of a chance against Black and Moro but what's even more interesting about all of this is Goku Black is going to have essentially the same motivations that he did before getting erased which was the Zero Mortals plan and seeing his mission through but at the same time if you guys remember the events of the Super Dragon Ball Heroes anime and manga when Goku Black originally came back he was on a mission to obtain a higher power right so that's what we can essentially expect to see go down in this story which is basically for Goku Black to understand that Son Goku has a new power Ultra Instinct and Vegeta also has a new power Ultra Ego so I guess it's time for Black to also discover a new power of his own now whether or not that is either Ultra Instinct or Ultra Ego or a mixture of the two or something completely different you guys are gonna have to wait and see he will of course be using Super Saiyan Super Saiyan 2 Super Saiyan 3 he will also be using the same adaptations from Super Dragon Ball Heroes which is Super Saiyan Rose 1 Super Saiyan Rose 2 and Super Saiyan Rose 3 but what we end up getting beyond that is going to be a little bit of a surprise and yes you can only imagine as to how barbaric and chaotic this is going to be once of course black ends up returning and in case you're also kind of wondering no future trunks will not be a part of this but with that being said i want to go on ahead and touch bases more on this as well as also give you a preview to another story that we have coming up later on after october
Now, as mentioned before, Goku Black is in fact going to be learning about so much that had happened during the events of the Tournament of Power and even everything that had transpired prior, including the events of Broly, which is ultimately going to lead Goku Black in wanting to know more about Broly, what makes him special, and kind of wanting to find out more about Broly. And in case you're kind of wondering, yes, Goku Black will in fact not only learn about Broly, but at a certain point in time, Goku Black will also be fighting Broly within the past. Now, as mentioned before, we aren't really going to be traveling too far into the future, i.e. going back to Future Trunks' timeline, because there's really nothing left there for Goku Black to begin with, so instead, he learns about the past, going back to the original timeline in which basically everything had transpired to begin with, that version of Goku, that version of Vegeta, and inserting himself into a specific position where Goku Black is going to be challenging that specific timeline, and even going as far as to call out that specific universe so we will see Goku Black versus Gohan, Goku Black versus Goku, Goku Black versus Vegeta, Goku Black versus Broly, to which the only fights that we are going to be getting is of course Goku Black versus Beerus and Goku Black versus Future Trunks, in which with all things considered this story is going to be a very chaotic story because this is going to be a very dangerous version of Goku Black, a very aggressive version of Goku Black, a very cunning version of Goku Black, and with the way I am fighting Broly right now, which I'm very thankful due to my new motherboard, you can't hear me clicking and clacking in the background, you can kind of almost expect kind of like a similar fight in a sense where once Goku Black kind of gets a better idea as to how durable Broly is and how strong he essentially can get over time, Black is going to try to match that and you guys are going to see what I mean once of course the story comes out, so I also encourage you guys to follow through and meet every single one of our like goals for these upcoming videos because every Every single time we can actually go as far as to do that, then it'll prompt me to release the manga chapter a lot sooner. So again, I encourage each and every single one of you guys to help us meet our like goal for every single one of these mangas that comes out, which on top of that, I'm going to be releasing soundtracks for each individual story and so many other things that you guys can just listen to and enjoy and even download if of course you are a part of our Patreon. So the Goku Black story in and of itself is going to kind of be a chimera of both Super Dragon Ball Heroes and what we've seen go down within Dragon Ball Super. And one of the other many questions that you might be wondering is, what about Zamasu? Well, we're going to be doing something very, very interesting involving Zamasu after this. And I think that when it's all said and done, you guys are really going to enjoy his little character arc once we introduce that. But in case you're kind of wondering about the primary focus of this story, it's primarily going to be centered around Goku Black and Goku Black only. And I know that, yeah, of course, Zamasu is what Goku Black is, but the essence of future Zamasu, immortal Zamasu, is going to be a non-relevance factor in this story. So Broly vs. Black, Gohan vs. Black, Piccolo vs. Black, we're gonna have the androids vs. Black, it's going to be a very, very chaotic story, if all else, and I think that by the end of it, you guys really aren't going to expect to see who ends up winning this, which I'm not going to give too much away. Again, if you want to kind of get more and see more and find out more, Patreon is where it's at. But either way, Goku Black's primary mission hasn't changed. He still wants to commence with the Zero Mortals plan. He still wants to go about by wiping out the entire multiverse and purging all of the mortals and gods that live within it. But at the same time, his secondary goal is going to be to get as strong as humanly possible by learning about what Vegeta had done, by learning about what Goku had done, by learning about what Broly did, and stuff like that. So, Gowasu is also, mind you, going to play a big role because instead of Goku Black just killing him, he's going to use him as a hostage. He's going to use him as more or less a guide to get Goku Black to where he needs to be. So, this is where things become even more interesting than how they just were because as mentioned before, as many of you may already know, we are also going to be introducing on the channel the story of Beerus vs. Zykor and that story is going to be debuting sometime between November and December of this year, which I've gone as far as to mention before, Beerus actually goes as far as to 
kind of sleep in a bit late only to later find out that hey I had this revelation within my dream that I was supposed to come across a rival and Whis goes as far as to inform Beerus that hey there were unusual anomalies that have occurred on Earth and once Beerus goes on as far as to check it out he ends up coming across Zykor and well to say the least Zykor and Beerus go as far as to have a very bloody and intense battle so to that in case you're wondering we're only going to be grounding this around Beerus and Zykor but of course we are going to see moments like this where Zykor ends up coming across Whis there's going to be a momentary engagement between those two and Beerus is going to go as far as to put Zykor's power into question because this power of course takes place during the events after Dragon Ball GT so this isn't going to be anything similar to that of Super Saiyan God or Super Saiyan Blue Zykor is going to have his own power and even Beerus goes as far as to learn that Zykor is part Saiyan and part Kaioshin. So, of course, in Beerus' eyes, he's going to see this as being a abomination. He's going to stop at nothing to see if Zykor is going to be the rival that he had dreamt about because, mind you, Beerus had gone as far as to sleep in and sleep through the entire events involving Dragon Ball Super, Dragon Ball GT. So, by the time Beerus ends up waking up, he's going to come across this half Saiyan, half Kaioshin hybrid, and this fight really isn't going to be as one-sided as one may assume of course by the end we are going to have something very interesting that may lead into a different set of events later on but this is also a story that you guys should be on the lookout for so again if you haven't already hit that subscribe button guys smash that subscribe button turn on all notifications by clicking on the bell icon that way you guys never miss a single manga video that is posted onto the channel including all of these battle updates because not only am I going as far as to fight these characters by myself, but also I might be showcasing something that is just bound to debut on the channel. I'm talking about future stories, future animations, stuff like that. And I think if you guys kind of want to get a gist as to what I have coming on the channel soon, then these are the videos for you. And I'm really excited for this only because we've been working on these stories now for quite some time. We've actually been working on these projects for well over a year and a half. With the only exception being Goku Black since I was kind of considering on doing something with Goku Black now for almost two and a half years and well to say the least we are only now just getting started because we have so many ideas so many stories that we basically have lined up in the pipeline for you that I can't wait to show you Halloween specials we're going to be continuing and maybe even redoing some of our older stories from many many years ago and either remastering those or revamping those slash redoing them because I have a different vision for many of the things that I wanted to do. A lot of you guys have been asking for specific things and of course if you guys have any specific ideas for any specific story then let us know down below because the return of Goku Black and Moro's Ultimate Victory those two manga stories you guys can expect on the channel beginning in October to where like I just mentioned with Zykor that is going to be dropping between November and December as well as many other things that I'm keeping in secret right now unless of course you are a part of our Patreon so also don't miss out on all of the soundtracks that we're going to be having for you guys, including soundtracks that involve Goku Black's return, Moro's ultimate victory, and even a soundtrack for Zykor vs. Beerus, all of which you guys can enjoy and download to your own accord. And I think that right now, based on from what I'm looking at, with what I wanted to do originally, and I will say this though, I wanted to have Goku Black, for the most part, kill off a prominent member of our roster and have Goku Black basically finish them off for good, but the only problem is I don't know who I want Goku Black to basically destroy. So if you guys have any ideas as to who or what, then feel free to drop those names down in the comment section below, whether that's Broly or Vegeta or Gohan or Piccolo or the androids or Goku, except Beerus, because I know Beerus just arrived and I want to see if I can put him down without having to, I guess, essentially have Goku Black find him and kill him, because I don't think it'll be that easy, but I can promise you guys this, you guys are really really going to enjoy so many of the stories that we have lined up for you and I just wanted to give you guys this update while of course battling these characters just to kind of give you a little bit of an idea as to what is coming on the channel so again thank you all so much for watching guys thank you all so much for your time and I'll be seeing you all down in the comment section below and in the next video take it easy guys and have a great day peace